Okay, so we're looking in this video at using the formula that was in the first video with some specific examples. So again, there's the formula, uh, standard deviation equals the sum of f times x minus x bar squared over n, and this is for a sample, okay? Um, this number here would change if it's a population. So let's have a look at an example on the page. Okay, so I've got um, a series of data, so I'm not going to create a table, I'm just going to add them up to find the average. So if I look at the mean, I've got 3, 8, 13, 20, 29, 39, 49, 49, 54, 64. So I've got 64, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, divided by 8. So the average is 8. Now I did that on purpose to make the subtractions easy. So in the formula, okay, I've got to take the score and minus the average, and I'm going to square the number later, okay? So, so 3 minus 8... 5 minus 8, 5 minus 8, 7 minus 8, 9 minus 8, 10 minus 8, 10 minus 8, and 15 minus 8. So I do those calculations and they're pretty quick. So I've got minus 5, minus 3, minus 3, minus 1, 1, 2, 2, and 7. Okay, so what I've done is I've done my x minus x bar, and in the formula, I have to take x minus x bar, and I have to square it, okay? So when you square it, you get 25, you get 9, you get 9, you get 1, you get 1, you get 4, you get 4, and you get 49. And in the formula, okay, in the formula it said frequency times that number but in this set of data there we're just assuming that there's one of all of them so I'm, i've done that calculation and then in the formula it says to add them up okay so if i add up those numbers uh, so 29 34 43 44 45 49 53 93 102 okay so the formula says square root of that number, 102, divided by how many scores there were? Eight. So get my calculator out. So 102 divided by eight equals 12.75. And then I just square root the answer and I get 3.57. So that would be the standard deviation for that set of scores. It's pretty large because in actual fact we had one score that was a bit different to the others. So copy that down and in the book in 11 apps, in 11 apps um, there's an exercise in 16E that you'll see some questions that look like that where you just get a string of data and there's not much there. Okay, so copy that and come across when you're ready. Okay, so this is the more familiar one and again in the apps course um, in, I think it's 11, uh, no, it's, uh, maybe it's 16E, so um, just check the, I think it's 16E, that you'll see some examples. So here's a set of data, here's the scores, okay, here's the frequencies. So these are the columns you have to have. You need an FX column, which is going to help us find the mean or the average, and then we have to have the X minus X bar column, then we have to square column, and then we have to do a frequency times that number, and we're going to add that number up at the end and to finish off the thing. So let's just go through it right now. Okay, so uh, 5, 2 is a 10, 30, 49, 32, 18. So we've got 5, 7, 14, 18. We've got 20 scores and we're going to add these up. So 40, 89, 91, 99, 109. I think it's 149. So if I've made a mistake, it's just an accident. Didn't mean to. So the average, which is the X bar in the formula, is 149 over 20. And let's make sure I don't make a mistake. So that's 7.45. Okay. So on the next column, we're going to take every score, every score, and minus 7.45. So we've got minus 2.45, minus 1.45, uh, minus 0.45, 
and then we get to here we're going to subtract again but now we've got 0.55 and then 1.55 Okay, so that's the x minus x bar column. And then on the next column, we have to square those numbers. So 2.45 squared. Okay, so we've got 6.0025. So I'm putting all the decimal places in. You don't have to. Uh, so I've got 2.1025. Okay, let's do the next one. Clear. So we've got 45 times... Zero point two oh two five and this one's zero point three zero two five and the last one uh, two point four zero two five. Now that's your x minus x. Now we have to multiply all those numbers by all of these frequencies. So I should have done that. Well, I had the numbers up, so it's bad luck now. 2.5 times 2 equals, change the colours again. So I've got 12.005, oh, 2.1025 times 5, that 10.5125. 0.2025 times 7, 1.4175, 4 times 0 0.3025, 1 1.2100, and 2 times 2.4025, okay, 4.8050. So next time you do that, just multiply by F straight away while that number's still in your calculator, it'll save you a bit of time. Now we have to add up all these numbers because we have to get the sum. We have to get the sum of those numbers. Okay, so 4.805 plus 1.21 plus 1.4175 plus 10.5125 plus 12.015. I get 29.95 on my calculator. If I made a mistake, it's not deliberate. So the standard deviation equals the square root of that number divided by 20. So divided by 20 equals the square root of 1.4975. And that number, square root answer, equals 1.22. OK, so that's the standard deviation. So copy that and come across there's just one more slide I'll talk about so on this last slide if we had to extend that to a population all we do is we take that number 29.95 so it's still 29.95 and instead of dividing by <coughs> excuse me uh, 20 we just divide by 19 so you get a slightly different answer but we're extending uh, we're extending an answer from a sample to a population, so we can't be as accurate because we only took a sample of it. And square root answer. So you get 1.26. So there's just a slight difference. Here we had 1.22, and extending it to a population, we get 1.26. So it's just a slightly different measure because we're extending a sample to a population and we can't be as accurate. Okay, that's it. Thanks for coming. Bye.